Okay, today is New Year's Eve and we are preparing tamales. And Jill, she wanted to do it again. We've done it once before together, but now we're doing it again this year. And uh, I have prepared a few things in advance. So I want to show you that I prepared this red sauce. This is for the red tamales. And what you do is you use like guajillo peppers. It depends on how much you want to use. Guajillo, um, any kind of dried pepper that you have. But what you do is you put, take the seeds out, cut them up, take the seeds out, and you put them in broth all the, and with onion and with uh, garlic and you soften them up. You let them in the water until they're soft. When they're cool, you put them into the, um, into the, um, the mixer. And then you mix it all up. And, uh, and right now, uh, this is just the tomatoes, the, the, not tomatoes, the hot peppers, the garlic, and the onion. And now what I have done is I'm gonna put it and saute it into like two tablespoons of oil, whatever oil you have. Put it on medium heat and lower it down and, and it's going to, I'm going to uh, put it in. Oh, I have to, wait a minute, I have to get a spoon to do that. Just bear with me. This is very thick because it's been sitting overnight. You can do it a day or two in, it, in advance, and it, it's better if you do it because then it gets thicker. How many peppers do you use? Oh, wait a minute. I used quite a few. This has been burning too long. It'll be fine once it's all in there. Perfect. We're going to saute it a little bit. It's on simmer. Simmer it down and don't have it really hot because it'll splash up on you. So let it, see how rich it is? And this is, I used about 12 guajillos and some anchos and some pasillas. And you should use about much, 15 total. Tomato? There's no tomato. Oh, no this tomato. is all pepper. Oh, all pepper. All pepper and onion and garlic. And then I will use a little, uh, if you need to, I'm thinking, but this is actually fine the way it is. But if it gets too thick, you can add flour and thicken it up. But we don't have to thicken it up. We're going to put the pork in here now. This is for the pork tamales. And, the and we're using our pork from the fresh ham that we cooked at Christmas. And we had pork left from that, so it was a it was a 14 pound fresh ham that we ate uh, a week ago, and this is leftover pork from that. So we were able to really get a lot of mileage out of it. And here it is, right here. Here it is. What we've done is we've uh, cut it into small pieces so that we can fit it into the the tamale. And I'm just going to use my hands and put it right into this red sauce, and it's going to cook down. Perfect. It was about a pound and a half or okay. two pounds yep. of, uh, of that. And this, and the red chili, is about 15 peppers and uh, onions and garlic. And like say, if this gets too thick, we could put some broth in here. And I have saved the broth from when I cooked the chiles and when I did them in the... Um, in the water, when I boiled them in the water. And I just saved this so that we could, so this oh, is, yeah. yeah, this is what, so we'll just add this. And so this is gonna be the filling for the tamales, right? This is the filling for the for, tamales. For the red ones, for the pork. For the pork ones. We're doing mm -hmm. pork and chicken. So we're gonna let this heat up, and then we're gonna go, and I'm gonna show you how we did the, the green, uh, sauce for the chicken tamales. The chicken tamales, what we did on this one, we'll leave this because it has to warm up. To, we're getting ready to make the tamales. So here, what you do is you get the, uh, 
You get the tomatillos. Sometimes they're called tomates. In Mexico, they're called tomates. But here, they're tomatillos. And they have like a little shell. And you just have to peel this off. And they're a little like, kind of like, uh, what would you say? Like they're the, these. And you have to rinse them. And um, so then you, you, I use about a pound of these. And these are all cleaned up. And you use a pound of these and you put them in a pan, you boil them, about a pound of these with a couple of jalapenos or serrano peppers, whatever you have. And it depends on how hot you want them. And then onion and garlic. And you boil all that up and then let them cool down. And again, then you put it in your mixer and you mix it up. And then um, you cook it and you and then you, um, you saute it in like a couple tablespoons of of uh, oil whatever oil you want to use and you put the chicken in here the chicken has already what we did we did a shortcut and we you can either cook your chicken roast your chicken and then just thin it you know just peel it apart but we we did because we were in a hurry we went and just got a roasted two roasted chickens and we uh shredded all that and and put it in that hot sauce and we sauteed the green hot sauce also which is the tomatillo and so then this is ready now so what you do is you just take a little about a, about this much to put into a tamal you know into the husk and i'm going to show you the husks that we're going to put this into okay so now what we're doing is we're we have to wash these husks they have to be softened up. You get them in a package. And um, in order to get all of them like soft, we just put these, because you put them in your sink and in order, because they'll float up. In order for them to keep down, we just put a pan on top to keep them submerged, okay? So then what we do is we'll take them out and dry them off as much as possible. And you get the big ones. How do you know when they're ready? Well, when they're pliable. This one's pretty pliable. So these are almost ready? Almost ready. We've had them in here for about a half an hour. Yeah, okay. yeah, and they're in hot water, so they'll go faster right. when they're in hot water. So we'll just take them out, drain them out, and then just kind of dry them a little bit. And then you take it, and you get a spoonful. Oh, we forgot to tell them about the, them masa. Show them the masa. The masa. Yeah, we have it right over here. Okay, the masa, it's already prepared. We did a lot of work. Jill did a lot of work with her. Oh, uh, was that? Was just light oh okay. There we go. I've been trying to get your, your, she, there we go. Yeah, so we, what we did is she used the mix master. We were doing it by hand. The kitchen aid? The kitchen aid, which is called now. And she put one of uh, five pounds of masa in the kitchen aid. And we put some um, um, broth in there with lard because we want them nice and tasty with the lard. And we used some of the, uh, the uh, broth from the chicken, from the, from the pork. So this is how it turned out. Let's take it, a look at it. Yeah, and it's very, it's, and this is just perfect. And when you do this, if you do it by hand, or if you do it in the KitchenAid, you have to uh, make a little ball like this and put it in cold water. And if it rises, it's done. But if it sinks, it's not done. So it's not ready yet. So we tell them about how we got the masa. We got it from the uh, store in Pilsen. We got along it. Along with mm -hmm. these husks. Right. We got the masa and it comes uh, the Guadalupana or the um, Milagro. And it comes in five pounds. So we got two five pound containers. And we did one at a time in the, uh, in the kitchen aid. So now we're ready with that. Everything's ready. All we have to do is get these ready to uh, smear, and we, and then we'll show you later how this okay. is done. Okay, so okay. Gonna, we'll come back and then take a look at it. So just tell us really quickly, though, you know, about how when you were a kid, you used to help your mom. Oh, I did. On New Year's Eve. Yes, we really never had to cook, but on, Christ on New Year's Eve, mother needed extra hands to do this. We never got involved in the initial stuff you know the ingredients that were cooked but we did help with simmering the masa which is the corn that's been prepared and we 
would get a spoon, she'd give us a spoon and she'd say smear it on and then you would smear it on and you just fold these over like this and then we'll show you. And like that and then you put them in a pan and you steam them for about two hours and make sure that, and it has to be in a steamer, not touching the pan, you have to put something underneath to hold them up off so of the a water. Very labor intensive. Uh, very, device. it takes time. Yeah, that's why for special occasions, and we're really looking forward to, to tasting what these taste like. So, okay, well, thanks so much, Mom Rita. And we'll, oh, you're uh, we'll welcome. We'll get back to you when, when we get Absolutely. to the process of, uh, of assembling them. Would love it. Hello, we're back with the tamales de, de la Peña and Manuel. And we are now going to um, start spreading the masa on the husks. So what you have to do is you have to soak these husks until they're very pliable. And it takes a while just so that you can bend them when you go to cook. So now I'm going to show you how to assemble. assemble and we're going to um, get like a tablespoon and put it in the husk and then you just spread it around very thinly, as thin as you can. And sometimes you have to just put it down like this. And you spread it around almost to the ends. It's about a tablespoon. And you can do it as thick or as thin as you want. If you want very thin ones, just do it very lightly. If you want a medium, medium. If you want it thick, you could do it thick. And when that's done, you put this filling. This filling is delicious. These are the green tamales. And we're going to put the green sauce right in the middle. And then you fold one side over like this and the other side over like that. Turn it around and you fold it up because this is how you're going to cook it in the pan and you leave this open. Okay? That's one. Now we have all of this to do and here are all of the husks. And it's good if you, when you're doing them, soak. This might get stuck so you have to soak it in water just to get it pliable, to get the, the masa pliable. And then we're going to put it in this big pot. And we're going to stack them open side up and you put water on the bottom and let it boil and bring it to um, a simmer and let it steam for about an hour or two hours but keep checking the bottom of the um, of the pot because it's it will evaporate so you have to keep adding water okay and any questions Jill I don't have any questions. Let's just wish everybody Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy okay. 2019. Enjoy these tamales and uh, hopefully you had a good night to make it some delicious food, right? Adios. Adios. <laughs>